What's up, ladies and gents, social nurse here. I am going to talk about Robert Chelsea. Robert Chelsea is the first African-American to receive a face transplant. He is also the oldest person to receive a face transplant. He received the transplant in July of 2019. At that time, he was 68 years old. And unfortunately, six years prior to 2019, a drunk driver hit Mr. Chelsea's car and a big explosion occurred. Over 60% of Mr. Chelsea's face and body was burned. If you look at these pictures, you can see that he has exposed mucous membrane of the mouth, the gum line, and the teeth are exposed. He's lost a portion of his uh, nose, cartilage, nose, skin, and cartilage, um, as well as the different markings from the healing of the skin as a part of being burned, right? So he has had to undergo multiple reconstructive surgeries to his face prior to the face transplant. Now, an interesting fact about face transplant, for those of you who don't know, this is a type, this is a type of study. Face transplants are still studies. They are not FDA approved procedures, if you will. So private insurance typically does not pay for that are considered studies or part of a study. So the fortunate thing is that here, yes, in the United States, the Department of Defense, the U.S. military, pays for face transplants here. And, and, you know, the soldiers, our soldiers in service often have severe injuries to their face from explosions, fires, or terrible gunshot wounds. So I suppose that I can really see the interest as to why the Department of Defense, the U.S. military, would want to be a part of the study of face transplants. Now, with that said, most donors of, of faces are Caucasian. So with Mr. Chelsea, there was a consideration for skin tone match. He wanted, he wanted, he's a proud guy, and he wanted whatever face he was offered to be a match phenotypically that skin tone so at one point a fairer skin tone was available first but he declined he declined he was made aware of the availability and he declined and said I'll wait I'll wait for a a face that might come along that I will be more comfortable with that is phenotypically similar to what my appearance was prior to my injury. So that's something to think about, right? When you're thinking about what face will I receive, what will it look like, and is it a match in reference to how I previously looked? What's another thing? Uh, I can't really think of a lot of other stuff. I could get like really, really medically about this and the stuff that, you know, uh, the, the skin is an organ, right? So with organ transplants, we've got to worry about if the organ will be rejected by the body. The body knows that that organ isn't an original member. The skin is an organ. And, and Mr. Chelsea, I'm sure, obviously is on some form of steroid or immunosuppressant medication for life so that his body will not reject that skin tissue, right? When we're talking about skin, because there's different types of tissue in our body tissue, 
in our body. Skin tissue is what, if I can recall, epithelial tissue, right? And it looks really good on him. It looks healthy. There doesn't seem to be any ischemia going on. It looks nourished, right? And that's a good thing. Be watching carefully his doctors that there is proper innervation, nerves, and vascularization, vascularized tissue so that that face can get sufficient blood perfusion, right? So that it can remain, so that it can remain alive. And Mr. Chelsea looks good. I think that when I first saw the face, I thought it drooped a little bit along the cheeks, the jawline, maybe the eyes, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there's still more healing to go, to go, even though that was in 2019. But I suppose as well, if they wanted to pull that skin tighter or taunt, they could. You can see where his skin meets the face in these pictures that I have in this presentation. And again, I think it looks great. It just maybe seems like maybe it's not adhering as tightly to the facial bone right now when looking at these pictures. But I, I'm sure they've got all that under the under control. He looks great. Congrats him and the surgeons for this great outcome. This has been Nurse Student Possibilities, Social Nurse.